these war paint-like facial markings belong to a male fingered dragonette. Such benthic animals, creatures that live on the seabed, thrive in the muck of Lembe. The male has very long filamented rays on its dorsal fin that it holds forwards when on the move. The first ray of each pelvic fin is effectively a limb or finger that the dragonet uses to walk along the seabed and dig for food, hence the name fingered dragonet. It feeds in a picky, methodical manner similar to birds. The upper jaw can be thrust forward to catch prey such as small crustaceans. This motion reveals the female's bright orange upper lip. These orange-black dragonets are similar and belong to the same genus. The distinctive juvenile is largely white in colour. The adults are darker but retain the orange lips and the bright blue spots on the anal fin. The dragonet has adapted very effectively to life on the bottom. It is well camouflaged and at night it will bury its body. The eyes and gills are placed high so only they remain above the sand. A minuscule sea slug crawls down this dragonet's cheek. The Morrison's dragonet shuffles around the seabed without the aid of separated fin rays. This individual at Nudie Falls is a female. A similar species of dragonet, the mandarin fish, bears one of the most spectacular colorations of any fish. No wonder they are sometimes called psychedelic mandarin fish. During the day they are well hidden among shallow hard corals, but at dusk the males eagerly seek out female mates. During the hunt they hold their first dorsal fin aloft as an advertisement to the females and a warning to competing males. When a mate has been found, the female rests on the larger male's pectoral fin and the couple rise up together from the reef. At the peak of their ascent, they simultaneously release sperm and eggs and then make a dash for cover as the spawn drifts away in the current. This frenzy of sexual activity typically lasts some 30 minutes until nightfall. If fertilized, the eggs will hatch about a day later and the tiny larvae will drift for a further week or two before settling onto the bottom to begin their benthic life. While a rarity at most dive locations, frogfishes are actually quite common in the Lembe Strait.